Hello and welcome to The Week, your source for all the news you don't need. I'm your host, Nick Bedard. In China, there's a physics prize called the Pineapple Prize. Yes, this is a true story. The Pineapple Prize, named after a fruit which in China is said to be so ugly that only the brave and curious would explore its delicious interior, whatever that means. The prize looks for discoveries that are both useful and amusing. And while this year's winner might not be that useful, it's most definitely amusing. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to show you will trump the who smelt it dealt it theory. It will surpass the who did the rhyme did the crime argument. This is beyond any scientific achievement that has ever graced the cover of popular science magazine. It's the fart machine. Li Jingong of Tianjin University took home the pineapple prize for his creation that state media is saying, quote, not only solves the mystery of who farted, but also provides a way to locate source of any odor through the complex dynamics of air. Oh, God, this is so embarrassing, I'm sorry. Oh my God, a fart smelling machine winning a Chinese physics prize for being able to detect farts and knowing exactly who it came from? This has got to be a hoax. In Shenzhen, China, cars were parked on the side of the road. Oh, but the story doesn't end there. Those innocent cars were just minding their own business when suddenly a woman came out of nowhere and started attacking them. Bang! Take that, car! That's an unidentified woman with long hair, wearing a skirt, collecting bricks from the side of the road before chucking them at car windows. Within minutes, she had destroyed six parked vehicles. The woman has been arrested and charged with causing deliberate damage to others' property. Now I know what you're asking. Why? Why is she attacking these cars? Did someone double park? Did one of those cars do something to her? Nope. It's because she was having an argument with her boyfriend. Aw, poor girl. But I really feel bad for those cars. I mean, what did those vehicles ever do to you? Anyways, let's hope her and her boyfriend can work it out and have a happy ever after story. <laughs> and finally, being a celebrity in China is not easy. First, you need the looks. And then, well, you need the looks. Heck, it's all about the looks. So this 29-year-old Chinese businesswoman had a game plan. She would take eight years of her life, spend $122,000 on 20 plastic surgeries to look exactly like China's most famous celebrity, Fan Bing Bing. That's a lot of plastic. Now the real Fan Bing Bing denies that her white skin, chiseled chin, big eyes, and pointed nose all come from plastic surgery. But after carefully examining the photo of the 29-year-old businesswoman and Fan Bing Bing, I don't know. Now there's an important lesson here, and it goes as followed. If money can't buy you happiness, it can most certainly buy you plastic surgery. That's it for this episode of The Week. Check back in next Friday for more news you don't need. Have a great weekend, folks.